Hello everyone and welcome. This is Brett and today we're going to talk about the preview app for Instagram. The preview app for Instagram can be downloaded in the iTunes store as well as in Google Play. And once you open it, it's going to take you to the app. And as you can see here, it allows you to schedule unlimited posts, find hashtags, repost photos and videos, test your hashtags, all in one app. What's so wonderful about this app is it allows you to develop amazing design themes by uploading photos, rearranging them, choosing filters, and seeing your feed all at once so you can pre-plan and develop the story that you want to share with your followers. Now, if you're a video blogger and you're over 50 and you're not on Instagram, you really have to get over there. Instagram, their main audience is 18 to 35, but it used to be that way in YouTube and that's changing. And YouTube is a very, very intimate setting for you to vlog in and the same goes for Instagram. Although it's owned by Facebook and I love Facebook and it has a great purpose in our lives as well, Instagram just is, it, you just get closer. You get closer to your followers, they get closer to you and it's a, just a great, great place for everyone to come together, learn about each other, and share in a very simple and easy way. Instagram, I think, is so much easier than using Facebook daily to try to interact with your audience. So we're going to open the preview app. And you can see that I pay for the professional version, which is $7.99 a month. And I stopped subscribing for a while, but then decided to resubscribe. Because when you don't subscribe, you do get one free Instagram account, so you don't have to worry. This is all free, and I would advise you to start with the free version. But I have two websites, and I wanted to do Instagram feeds for both of them. So I have my Boss Life Beauty, which here it is here, but I don't have anything in there right now because I'm in the process of redoing it. But let's go over to my teddy bear spot preview feed for Instagram and then I'm going to show you one called fitness and that's the one that we're going to use as our sample today so that we can show so I can show you how you can rearrange your photos and develop a story and your style. So my teddy bear spot Instagram feed looks like this but it didn't always look like this. Before I had preview this is what my Instagram feed looked like. You see the little squigglies is dividing the two. But this was my Instagram feed, and it's not bad. I have pictures here, and the colors are similar to those used on my website. But still, there's a lot of red, which is fun. But it's not really cohesive. And although it tells a story, each photo individually, it wasn't really telling the story that I thought that my blog was telling. So I had to change it up. So what I did was... I decided to get the preview app and I decided to work on my Instagram feed. So now my Instagram feed has some things in common that keep it cohesive. First of all, it uses the same filter, which is a vintage moody filter. I'm taking pictures of relatively three or four different things. I'm taking selfies, as you can see here. I'm taking pictures of cute little teddy bears. I'm taking interior design pictures from my home and places that I travel. I've got a vintage picture here and there, and I'm taking pictures of bedding because I love bedding and I love cozy beds and cozy home decor. And through this app, I am able to switch up my pictures and move them to where I want them to be to get the look of the feed that I would like to have on my Instagram. Now, it can go further than this because with the preview app, you get a lot of Adobe um, photo alterating tools such as frames and stickers and all those kinds of things. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I want to keep it simple. And as we go on in the tutorials every week, I can add little tidbits of information about the different things that you can do inside of preview. So let's, for example, whoop, sorry, I didn't turn off my, I need to put this in airplane mode so we don't get bothered. Okay, let me go to this new 
gallery that I created called Fitness. Now you can add an account and you can add an Instagram account if you have two. Some people have two, a personal one and a business one. Or you can add a new gallery. And for purpose of right this moment, I created a gallery called Fitness. And I uploaded some pictures. And it's very easy. You just go upload. You go to your photo library. I created a Fitness folder. And there I put all the pictures that I may want to use inside of this Instagram feed that were based on when I used to be super fit and some of them are current, some of them are old, but you can, you can tell a story through photos. And in this particular feed for fitness, I decided to start it with these 12 photos. Now we need to make them really cohesive and give our feed a wonderful consistent look. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to give them all the same filter and I'm going to make sure they're all square for the Instagram app. Everything needs to be square. They do have a portrait. You can do portrait now, but I have seen those feeds. I don't like them. I like the square, so we're going to stick with the square. Now, all these photos have something in common. They're all colorful. I have some tropical pictures and pictures of swimming pools. I have bright colors. And the only one that's a little out of sorts is this one because it's a picture of me doing push-ups you know, five years ago when I was super skinny and fit. I was take, took this picture of me doing push-ups because I had a blog called Jump Seat Diet in Portugal in the hotel, but it's not really colorful enough, and it actually the colors are more like my teddy bear website. So what I'm going to do is I am going to delete that photo, and I'm going to bring in another photo that is more colorful, and these are things that you have to take into consideration when you want to make a really nice Instagram feed. So I'm looking through the photos that I uploaded and I want to pick one. All right, I could pick this one or this pretty one in this orange dress when I was in Hawaii. I'm going to pick this one. My hair used to be dark. I dyed my hair dark at one time. Um, let's see. And I don't want two. I don't want two selfies side by side. I want to get a formula here for success. I want to have a pattern because that's what's going to make my Instagram feed stand out. So I might switch that with that photo right there. Okay, so let's maybe switch these two, because I don't want two, and then the two pools. All right, that might be a little better, because I don't want the pools too close together. Okay, so that really looks nice. So today, I'm going to go to my first photo. Today, I shall be epic. And I am going to pick a filter because this picture already is square. So I can pick a vintage filter. See, it makes it look vintage. I can go with pink filters, which I love this pink filter. Look at this cute little dog. You know, pink is very girly. See, I can pick a pink filter. I love this. Maybe we should do all pink and kind of make it all stand out. I could also choose this tropical filter, which would be great for the swimming pool and all those pretty greens. So this is pretty. The tropical filter works well on these on the green. But I think for this purpose, I might just choose the colorful and make them all colorful but more natural. So let's see. There's my original. There's the current. And let me change this picture. Today I shall be epic K2, K1. Okay, gee, why am I still getting te text messages? All right, let me do let me do K1, and I'm going to save this. All right, I'm going to pull this picture up next, and I'm going to use K1, which is kind of see the difference here would be K7. K6, K5 is nice, K1 is a little dark, but we want them all to be the same. I like this K5. I'm going to save that as K5, and I'm actually going to change this one to K5. Let me go back. First, let's make it the original and then put it back to K5. There we go. That's beautiful. That kind of looks natural and nice. I'm going to take this delicious 
um, bread toast that I made with my whole wheat sourdough rye and my benacol and my marmalade jam. And I'm going to make that a K5 because this is a colorful uh, feed. It's, it's fitness, it's colorful, it's travel, it's tropical. Okay, now this picture isn't square, so I'm going to crop it. I'm going to align it correctly so that it shows what I want it to show. I'm going to push done. And once it's cropped and done, I can go pick my K5 and I can save it. I'm going to go to this picture. Now this already has a, I'm going to crop this picture because this picture already has a border around it because I used it years ago in something else and I don't want it to have that border because none of the other photos have that. So I'm actually going to crop out that border. I'm going to go done. I'm going to make it a K5 and save it. It's already square. I'm going to go to this cute picture of my girlfriend and I, Beth, on a layover in Miami. I'm going to crop it. I'm going to choose the square crop. I want to make sure I have the right amount of headroom. I'm going to apply. Done. I'm going to make it a K5. Okay, now this one is bright, but it's a little darker as a K5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, let me see, let me go back to the exposure. I'm going to add... No, I want the exposure to stay the same, but I'm going to add a little brightness and apply and done because I just want that to be a little brighter. Okay, then I'm going to go to this picture of me. This was taken. It also needs to be squared up. This was taken in St. Augustine. I'm going to crop it and push done. Then once I crop and push done, it allows me to pick the K5. I'm going to save that. This is when I hurt my toe. And I couldn't start. So sorry, everyone. I thought I have it on airplane mode. I don't know why it's allowing things to get through, but I apologize. All right, so now what I'm going to do is this is already cropped, so I'm going to make it the K5. And this one, beautiful tropical scene from Kona, Hawaii. I'm going to make this one a K5 and save it. Doesn't need anything. All right, this one needs to be cropped, so I'm going to crop this one, make it square, get my little sneakers in there, apply, done. Now it's going to let me to choose K5 for this one, save. All right, there, then I'm going to go to this cute picture of us, my friends, we were all on a layover. I'm going to make it a K5, it's already square. I'm going to make this. You can only edit one at a time. So as you can see, when I have both of these, I'm going to make this a K5. It's already square, and I'm going to save it. And I love it. It really makes that pool water stand out. Now, this one needs to be cropped square. I'm not going to get all the food in there, but at least I get the peanut butter and the vegetables. And I'm going to make this one a K5. And I actually... I'm going to crop this again because I see that it has this edge here that I don't want, so I'm going to crop it. I'm actually going to make this one a little brighter. There, and apply. Done. Save. So I used the same filter on this one, but I had to brighten it up a little because I realized that some of my other photos were a little brighter. So you see, there I have my Instagram feed. And you can go and do other things to these Instagram feeds. Like I'll give you an example. One of the big popular things they're doing is they're adding frames. Some people add frames to their Instagram feed. Um, whoop. Original, no, recent. And so, for example, they're doing things like this. And they're applying that to the feed. And it, and uh so that you can see how it looks. Your Instagram feed would look like this. All of your pictures would have the, the white around them, but I personally don't like that as much. So I'm gonna go back to my original. I'm gonna crop it. You do have to go back to the original if you change anything drastically. I'm gonna apply. I added a little brightness on this one. Then I'm gonna apply, done. I'm gonna pick the K5. Save, done. So there's my feed. I'm liking the way it looks. And say I want to 
look at that again, make sure it's good. But say I want to now write a caption because I'm going to, so there I'm going to write my caption. And I don't know if any of you have read the new rules for Instagram, but they're going to make you put all of your hashtags in the actual caption section. Some people used to hide them by putting them in the comment section. They would post their picture. They'd go back in, write a comment on their tag. They'd put maybe two tags in the photo. Go back in, comment, and put the rest of their tags. You can have up to 30. Um, everything that I've read this week about the new Instagram algorithm is that to put your hashtags in with the photo and do not make your hashtags really don't have too many. They say you can do up to 30, but most people say try to keep it to 5 to 10. So just say I want to say... Today, I shall be epic and get in that workout. All right. All right, I'm going to say that. I'm going to um, maybe put a smiley face. And then I'm going to go and find hashtags. And I can put in... Um, fitness, which is very general, but just to give you an idea, fitness girl, fitness, and then it gives me all these hashtags that I can choose to put into my post so I don't have to do any of the work. So now when I want to, now this won't post for you. There are no apps that you can use to post on Instagram, but when I'm ready to post this, I can hit that little button and I can save the image or I could post it to Instagram. But And then what I do is this. This is how I would do it. I would go here. I'd schedule a post. I'd say that today I want to do it at six at five o'clock tonight. Uh, seven, that's seven o'clock. So say at five o'clock, 1700. I want to confirm. It's going to send me a reminder notice that I need to post this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, select all, copy, done. I'm going to go here. I'm going to say I want to post it to Instagram. I'm going to go to Instagram. There's my picture. I'm going to paste my caption. OK. And it's going to post for me. But I don't want to post that, so I'm going to get out of that. And so here we go. Here's my little feed. If you don't have the $7.99 version, you're only going to be able to put in nine photos at a time, but I think that's plenty. I happen to have 12 here. So now for the next, I'm going to post three times a day. So one, two, three, four, five. This is five days worth of Instagram posts, all using the preview app. Um, I can go here. Like I said, we can look at my teddy bear spot and how my uh, feed has changed is to show you. I love it so much. And I really highly recommend that you go on over, download the app and play with it. It's such a great app. You can get a free booklet if you want to go to previewapp.com or preview.com actually. You can Google it. You give them your email and they will email you this amazing little book. It's like a little four or five page book that shows you all the wonderful things that I just talked about in this video. It's so easy and I highly recommend everybody go on over to Instagram and start sharing your story and promoting your, um, your vlog or your blog or your store because it's such a great way to get started. And next week I'll show you how to write a really good Instagram bio along with sharing with you 